hey guys, I made this uh, speed tuning uh, spreadsheet for myself, but I figured that a bunch of other people would probably want to use it as well. So uh, I made pretty much uh, a spreadsheet that has almost every speed buffer in it. Uh, and hopefully it'll help you guys speed tune your arena teams and Guild Wars teams. So um, what I want to go over first is how easy it is to use. Um, so like right here, you can see my team's already entered in. But let's say... Instead of Bernard, let's say I was using a Megan. So we'll just type in Megan. And so I typed in Megan. And then we're going to change her base speed to 99. Okay. I still have my tower bonus of 15. Let's say she doesn't have a swift set on her. Okay. So let's say she doesn't have a swift set. And let's say this rune was like plus 12 speed. So we'll put plus, plus 12 speed in there. So now if you go and look. Once I start changing these values, my total speed is changing. So um, what I've done is I've made this so all you have to do is enter uh, your unit name, its base speed, uh, what your tower bonus is. So for mine's max, so it's 15. So yours could be 13, it could be 12, or it could be 10. So whatever it is, it's fine. Uh, and then if they have a swift set or not. So if they do, you add in 25%. If they don't, you put in zero. If they have a leader skill or not. So like for me, I'm running Faye. So she has a 24% speed lead, so I'm using a 24% speed uh, leader skill. So uh, then after that, we just enter the speed on each of the runes. So let's just change this back to 18. We'll change this back to 111. And we'll change this back to Bernard. All right, and that's how easy it is to change a unit on this sheet. So if you notice, it'll auto-populate a total speed here. And then there's percentages. So this is 100% because this means this is my fastest unit. So when you're entering this, you always want to enter your fastest unit in this top row, your second fastest unit in the second row, your third fastest unit in the third row, and your fourth fastest unit in the fourth row. So um, as you can see, it goes from 100% to 72.97, 71.11 to 69.25. So why is any of this important? Uh, when you're building an arena team, you always want to try to make sure that you have your lowest unit fast enough that no one will cut in front of him and mess up your combo. So, uh, right now, as you can see, my Seek, my Fey, and my Lucian are all in her here. Now, once you enter all your info here, all of this right here is going to auto-populate. Now, what will also auto-populate is all of this info down here. So, once you enter in all your speeds, everything will auto-populate automatically for you so for instance my bernard if you notice if i go back up to the top where it says tick what tick means is is the amount of attack bar he gains per turn so it starts out at turn zero so my bernard reaches a hundred percent attack bar on turn five so that's why i started uh started this page on turn five um then as you see my seeks at 77 75 and 73 for my illusion so at turn Six, that's when Seek would go, because he has the highest attack bar. Then turn seven is when Faye would go. And then turn eight, Lucian would go. Now, you see I have enemy Bernard, enemy Chloe, enemy Orion, enemy Megan Purian, enemy Frigate, enemy Kabila. Now, why I have all these different is because they all have different base speeds. So what I can do is I want to try to find out what speed, if any, that this Bernard could cut in front of me. So let, if I change this to 131 speed, if you notice... The enemy Bernard is now faster than my Lucian with 131 speed from runes. So that's the same as if I entered in, uh, so I'd have to, whatever the total in here is the same as this total here. So um, he's moving at 131 speed, so it means he's got 131 speed from runes right here. Uh, so that does not include his swift set, because that's also included. Does does not include his tower bonus, which is also here. So those are totally different from just the runes from speed. So I gave you a total speed box. You can see a 286 speed Bernard. So if we minus the 15% from the tower, so it's about 16%. So a 270 speed Bernard, if you were just looking at him, like in the monster box, would outspeed my Lucian. Okay? So that means I need to get my Lucian faster so that doesn't happen. Now what we can do is, if we look, my Bernard's total speed is 302. So we want to try to find the maximum amount of speed that we can get that's still underneath. So we're at 146 is at 301.4. If I change it to 147, so that goes over. So 146 speed. So if we minus 16 from the total speed, if you're looking at the monster, that's a 280 speed or 85 speed. 
Yeah, 285 speed um, Bernard. Okay. My Bernard still barely gets the first turn from him because I've got, again, a leader skill. So mine's going to be pushed up to that high. But then we look at turn two. Seek is still ahead of him. So Seek, Seek would still get the turn. But then turn three, that Bernard will cut in front of my Fey. So uh, what that means is that my Seek is properly speed synced with my Bernard, which means that no one that's uh, will move before, like mo no one that won't move before Bernard won't move in front of Seek. So Seek is ruined properly in that same uh, speed sync because he still outspeeds that Bernard that's still just a little bit slower than my Bernard. So obviously, if you go past that, like if I went to like 148, he just outspeeds my Bernard outright. So it doesn't even matter what everyone else is synced. So for me, I know now what Bernards can outspeed me, which is good to know and i know that uh someone can take the turn from my fey and from my lucian so what that means is for me personally i've got to get my fey and my lucian at least up to seek speed in order to not get a turn stolen from them all right so now this works just as easily for guild wars what we're going to do is we're just going to delete lucian from the list completely so we're just going to delete all his values all right so he's not even there anymore and let's say we wanted to use Galleon. All right, so let's enter my Galleon stats here. So we've got Galleon. His base speed is 108. Okay, I still have the tower bonus. He does not have his swift sight on him, so he, that goes to zero. All right, so we're going to go to rune one. My Galleon has five speed on rune one. On rune two, he's got 42 speed. On rune three, he has got nine speed. On rune 4, he has no speed, so we're going to put a 0. On rune 5, he has got 13 speed, so we're going to put a 13. And on rune 6, he has 0 speed again. So, um, so 0, 0, so that's where my Galleon is at. All right, so now, I normally, if I'm running uh, Bernard Galleon, I've got a couple different options. I'm going to use my Theomar. So let's just change this to Theo, and his base speed is 100. So he does have a tower bonus, he does not have a swift set, and he's still getting Galleon's leader, spell, leader skill. So on slot 1, he has 0 speed. On slot 2, he has got 39 speed. On slot 3, he has got 5 speed. On slot 4, he has got 5 speed. On slot 6, or sorry, slot 5, he has got 9 speed. And on slot 6, he has 17 speed. So, now we look at here. And so we've got our Bernard with our leader skill, uh, with Galleon. All right, so Galleon is 72.55% of Bernard, and Theo is 70.85. So now I can go down here, and we can see that Bernard is too slow for our Theo. Because our Theo is moving on turn three here, and that Bernard is only 125 versus 143. So let's increase this. Let's increase it to uh, that 146 again. So at 146, uh, my Bernard will go, and my Galleon will go, which means my Galleon is speed synced. But then Bernard outspeeds my Theo. So to make my Theo speed synced with Bernard, I would need to increase my Theo speed as well. So this helps you guys with your combos when you go, oh man, I was attacking someone and um, they were using this. So let's say we used a 120 speed from Runes Bernard, but they are also using a Galleon. Okay, so they're also using a Galleon. So now we are even speed. All right, so now it's a toss up who moves first. And then their Bernard is going to get the turn before my Galleon at that speed. So let's go to 119. So that's the one just below my total speed. So 119 speed from Runes plus a leader skill of 24%, puts it just below my Bernard, all right? So we've got my Bernard barely gets the first turn, Galleon barely gets the second turn, but then Theo gets out, outsped. So that tells me that my Galleon is now synced with my Bernard. Uh, and then Theo is just a little bit too slow and can get outsped. So um, like I said, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you can change it up. You do as many you like. You can do up to four units. So your arena team, or you can just do like right here. Uh, this is my Guild Wars offense team. Um, and again, it's pretty easy to change up all these values. I can change this back to zero. I can change this to uh, 100 again. 
Uh, so I can change all those values. I can change it lower. Like if I wanted to do 80 speed, I could put 80 speed from runes um, with still the tower bonus of Swift set. If I want to change, let's say I think their tower is at uh, 10%. I can change that to 10%, not 1,000, just 10. So 10% with 80 speed from runes. Now, the problem with all of this is, is that every single speed buffer uh, is done a little bit differently. Now, this page is for my Bernard specifically, because my Bernard reaches, uh, reaches um, on max turn 5. So uh, down at the bottom here, we can see Bernard max turn 5. All right, so the next page is for if your Bernard maxes on turn 6. So what I mean by maxes, that means that our tick, which is right here, which is our attack bar per turn, doesn't reach 100 until turn 6. So for instance, this Bernard here, which is similar to mine, I just reduced some of its speed, um, so still got a swift set, still got tower bonus, still got a leader skill, but I reduced this rune down to zero, which puts its tick under 20. So if it's ticking under 20, that means it's going to max on turn six. Well, this page is calculated for, uh, Bernard's reaching max on turn six. So then, um, the next page is Orion, Megan's, and Kabila's because they're all 30% buffers. And if they reach turn on max, or they reach uh, max attack bar on turn five, there's this page. They reach a max attack bar in turn six. It's the next page. Uh, the next page is for Purian and Frigates. Uh, if they reach max on turn five, that's this page. Max on turn six is this page. Then for your really speedy Bernard, so like let's say we used a 33% leader skill. We change this rune to 20 speed. We change this rune to uh, 25 speed. We change this rune to 22 speed. Uh, we change this rune to 27 speed. Uh, I don't even know if that's high enough. Is that high enough? No, it's not. Uh, let's change this to 26 speed, and let's change this one to uh, 28 speed. Oops, not 2,800 speed. Let's change it to 28 speed. So uh, uh, Bernard with like a um, a really, really fast Bernard with a 33% leader skill can reach uh, max attack bar in turn four. So uh, I made a page for that as well, and then I made a page for uh, Kabila, uh, because Kabila is so fast that she can easily reach, uh, not easily, but easier to reach uh, max on turn four. Uh, of course, you're gonna need a 33% uh, speed lead for that to happen. Then we have uh, your double buffers. So your Bernard plus Megan plus Lucian Lucian, which is I know is a very popular comp right now. You could still speed sync that in this here because this is set up so that uh, Bernard buffs, Megan buffs, then your Lucians get that double buff and so then your first Lucian goes on turn 7, your last Lucian goes on turn 8. And then for your Bernards that max on turn 6, you're still using that same comp of Bernard, Megan, like Lucian, Lucian, or Bernard, Megan, uh, DPS, DPS. Uh, that is still in here as well. So uh, I've done a bunch of different ones for uh, different, um, uh, different units that buff. The reason Bernard's separate from the other 30% buffers is because he gives this uh, speed buff. So I have you have to calculate that in a little bit differently because he, uh, with the speed buff, everyone ticks a little bit faster. So uh, I thought I'd just show you guys this. Uh, if you guys want to use it, I'll include the download below. Um, it's just in Dropbox. You just have to make a Dropbox account, and then you can use it. But it's pretty easy to use, and it's pretty simple to use. The reason I changed the runes out like this is so that I can take, like, Bernard, and let's say I uh, upgrade this rune. And let's say I get a grindstone and I can upgrade to 13 speed. I can just type in 13 speed and everything auto populates for me. So the total auto populates is ticks auto populate and everything auto populates down here for me. So uh, don't touch anything in gray because those are all formulas. Anything in white, you can change. So you can add leader skills, you can add swift sets, you can have tower bonus. You got to make sure you put in the right base speed. Uh, I already got pretty much every buffer that people normally use that you can try to see. Like, okay, uh, Bernard, it might be. 131 that outspeed my Lucian, but for Chloe it might be 133, and then the 133 Chloe, because then outspeed my Lucian if he's there. So, um, is you can test out and see how fast, like if you know someone else's uh, unit is, uh, you can add their speeds in and just see how fast um, your units need to be to make sure that everyone speed sync correctly. So, uh, I hope you guys. Got a little bit in information out of this. Again, if you want to use it, it's in the um, description down below. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.